Hello, and uh, this video I'm going to be covering some of the basic infantryman gear of World War II. Um, emphasis on basic, you know, I'm not going to cover uh, any of the HBT uniforms or something uh, like, you know, winter war kind of gear. Simple, all around, mid to, you know, all early, mid war, late war, whatever. Um, infantryman gear for the US Army. So I guess we'll just jump right into it and start over here with uniforms. Um, these are original leggings, uh, 1941 dated, I'm pretty sure, you know, the early war, um, straight brass, uh, hooks rather than the black and brass. Next over here is, um, M1937 service trousers. These are not original, these are reproduction, um, with an original, uh, web belt on here. But these are just some reproductions from What Price Glory. Um, they work pretty good, you know, for just reenacting. Uh, however, there are better reproductions, like for World War II impressions or at the front. Um, not really anything special. Just basic. Next up here is a um, wool undershirt. You can see the spec tags in there. Uh, this is original. I think it was made in 1944. Um, just, you know, a wool undershirt. I don't have the bottoms for it. And as far as I know, no one's reproducing these. Um, but they are really itchy and not very fun to wear, so I actually don't wear them as much as I just display it. Next, an original um, M37 service uh, shirt. This is the, you know, later version that has the uh, s uh, gas flap in it and kind of this floppy collar. Um, I got this for free, but it is original. I don't know if the year was made because the uh, spec tag is gone, basically. And next, a uh, M41 jacket. This is a reproduction from um, at the front. It's a very good reproduction. I think they have the spec tag in here. And, uh, you know, wool lined, talon zipper, uh, chocolate buttons and all that. Um, it does have NCO chevrons on this, but that's because of the last event I did. I was uh, doing 15th USAAF impression, and for that you're, you know, you kind of have to be an NCO, but I almost never have those on, I just haven't taken them off yet. And when I do regular infantry, I'm just a run-of-the-mill private. Over here is uh, some personal gear. Um, you know, toiletry items. I have a mirror here, a little shaving mirror. An original khaki set razor. Uh, this is all strictly for display stuff. Also, this is like, uh, very broken. I've heard someone say that the khaki set was from World War One. You know, either way, it has all the pieces here. Uh, actually, some old razor blades in there. Um, foot powder. Got an old toothbrush in here. And then some toothpaste. I actually use this in the field, that's why it's kind of modern looking. I don't really display this part, but the box. And then I have some uh, regular army soap, whatever. And just some stuff over here. K rations. These are for display. There's nothing in them, it's just like a block. Um, I usually put them in my haversack. Um, I actually have actual K rations that I filled with actual food, but with the, uh, you know, the period labels and all that. But they're quite tedious to make, so I don't have any right now. Also, have some socks. I have more of these, but those were just wrapped up. Toilet paper, uh, dog tags. These are, you know, the later war type with very little information on them. Little medallion on there. I, uh, my uncle had that in Vietnam. Uh, cigarettes. These are originals, but I don't carry these around. Have reproductions. Um, matches. Zippo. This is reproduction. Works for what it is. Charms. Sometimes I carry around this. Uh, it's a pipe I got for like five bucks. And a little reproduction um, box. Nothing's in it though. Uh, D-ration bar. Actually wax. There's nothing in it. Usually I put like a cliff bar. Um, and that's about it. Then I have a mess kit here. This is just a modern one that I actually use. Uh, nothing really special about it. And a uh, jeep cap. This is an at the front reproduction. Um, if I were to buy one again, I would get it from World War II impressions rather than at the front because their weave is really like loose and their brim is cardboard so it breaks really easily and gets stretched out. Um, then I have some paperwork here. Just little paper items. Uh, it's a picture of my 
great uncle. He was in the Air, uh, Air Corps. Um, some invasion money. ETO. Identification card. Driver's permit. Pay record. You know, just little stuff that a soldier would carry. A um, little notepad. Nothing's written in it, really. That's stuff I usually actually carry. And then this is kind of optional. Uh, I have a little German uh, original language guide. has a lot of kind of neat information. Um, this part was actually bookmarked when I bought it. And just a lot of good phrases. Um, a reprint of the Stars and Stripes. A newspaper from D-Day. Um, you can see it right there. It's just fun to read when I have a lot of time on my hands. This is a private purchase French language book. It says military service publishing right there. And it's actually named to someone. It has a lot of kind of cool information. Um, little phrases in there. Sometimes I carry that in my haversack depending on the event. Also, if anyone reenacts in California, I'm sure you're all familiar with Camp Roberts. This is just a little um, booklet that has information on the camp. You know, you get inducted and whatnot, and you go there and they give you this to kind of show you around, I guess. And I found this in my garage. Um, it's pretty much tallied up. It's from 1941, actually. And I just have it. Sometimes I carry it, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm not really religious, but it's good for displays. And this is an original Christmas card, 1944. And I got that in an antique store for, I think, three bucks. Something like that. Just kind of neat novelty items. I don't carry all of that, but, you know, some stuff. And then others were optional. Uh, Alright, next. All of the web gear here. Um, for entrenching tools, I kind of... I don't use this. This is an original um, M1910 server, uh, you know, entrenching tool. You can see the markings there, kind of US 1942. Strictly for display, I do not use this. It's very beat up. Paid 20 bucks for it, I think. But this I do use. Um, original uh, entrenching tool. The cover is from 1944. You can see that. And then the shovel itself is also from. 1944 as well, made by wood, I think. It's a very versatile shovel. I, I prefer using it over the M1910. I also have a bandolier here. It's an original as far as I know. Um, no markings. Uh, this is a flashlight. I don't display it, but I do use it in like, my tent or whatever. And I don't really have that displayed either, but I have the original shelter halves and tent pegs and uh, you know pins and whatnot. And um, it's just a modern one that I took some parts out to make it kind of look World War II, but it's not you know, perfect. Uh, pistol belt loadout here, not really anything special. Uh, original um, magazine pouch, 1942. And then the belt itself is from 1943. Um, the markings are kind of faded. And then a Boyt holster here, 1942. Two, if I remember correctly, and I kind of just put a BB gun on there so it would maintain its shape. Um, but I don't like to take that to events or anything like that. I also have an M1 carbine pouch here with uh, just some blocks in there. It's a reproduction at the front. And then I have up here uh, M1923 cartridge belt. It is original. Uh, 1943. And, um, very good belt. I mean, it has some parts that are kind of not the best, but for the most part, it's very good. Uh, serves me well. Um, reproduction M1910 cover, canteen cover, and inside I have, uh, an original 1942 aluminum, uh, canteen, flat, thick light ca uh, cap. Sometimes I use the stainless steel one I have, 1944, kind of a dish cap. And then I have a, um, uh, I can't really get it out, but I have a canteen cup in there, stainless steel, original, 1945, I think. And, um, first aid pouch, a uh, reproduction at the front, and then just some fillers that I made. Up here, have my haversack. This is a really nice one I got, um, great condition. The markings are really great, and it's, a uh, 
the Boyd, 1942. I don't take this out uh, to the field or anything like that. I just display it usually. Um, I used to have a reproduction, but then I sold it. And it actually helped pay for that one. And then I have um, my helmet here. It is an original front seam swivel bail. Um, most of the parts, the sweatband, nape strap, and liner um, helmet strap are reproduction from Ed J. Murray. And uh, this is original. The helmet was made in mid to late 1944, as was the liner. It has the black washers, A washers, and all that you can see. And uh, I had some 327th Gliderman infantry decal on the side, uh, but I don't always do Gliderman. I actually usually do regular infantry, which I have another helmet shell for, or Gliderman, but I just have that one on for right now. So yeah, uh, that's just basic stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.